single leg squat, also known as a pistol. Maybe you struggle just getting an ugly version of a tiny part of that movement. Well, I found that there's three primary reasons why people tend to have difficulty with this movement. Number one, it tends to cause hyper lumbar flexion at the very bottom of that movement because your arms are forward, one leg is forward. It's this really odd looking position that really doesn't look like a lot of things you would do in normal life. Number two, it requires a lot of leg strength and you just might be a weak person. <laughs> just kidding. Not kidding at all. Maybe you're just sort of weak in your legs and you need to build some overall leg strength, especially in that single leg position, which causes contralateral recruitment of your abdominals. Don't I sound fancy? Okay, number three, and maybe this is the most important because a lot of strong people can't do pistols either. It requires a lot of ankle range of motion. Your knee has to shoot forward and you've got to have really good dorsiflexion in, that, in the top of the foot coming close to the shin. So, this is going to be a funny video because I'm not going to do any pistols. Instead, I like to progress people in a speed skater squat long before we do any advanced versions of pistols. Why? Because there's lots of variations for speed skater squats. It involves one leg going back, which means you could sort of always be in lumbar extension instead of that lumbar curve or lumbar flexion. And because we're going to do altered versions or because one leg is back, it doesn't require quite as much of the ankle dorsiflexion. Okay, I'm going to do like six versions or more of a speed skater squat all the way from super easy to super advanced. Let's do it. Okay, this first version I call speed skater squat using the back leg as help. This is really the first version you would do. Before this, you would just do normal squats, bodyweight squats, reverse lunges, split squats, things like that. But assuming you can already do a split squat and a reverse lunge, this is the first version of the speed skater squat I teach. Back leg as help. You start on one leg, so we're working the stability already. You shoot that back leg back, and you just put the, the toe down. And you come all the way down. You now use that back leg and toe as help to come up. Now what's nice about this is you have the control to make it easier or harder. So say that was just a little too easy. Well, just wait a little longer to set that back foot down, maybe here, set it down, come down. Maybe use, use that working leg a little more before you use the back leg and then push off. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next variation. All right, now we're gonna do partial knee tap speed skater squats. A yoga block is a great tool to do this because it comes with standard three different heights. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. We're gonna start with the easiest height, the tallest height here. You're gonna stand next to it just like with your back leg is help version. Go down, tap your knee, come back up. Tap that knee, come back up. Let's do the other side. Tap that knee, come back. Tap that knee, come back. Tap, come back. Let's go a little lower. Tap the knee, come back. Tap the knee, come back. Lower, you say. Let's do it. Tap the knee, come back. Tap the knee, come back. Now let's say you're just barely able to do that and you remove it and you're not yet able to go and you just collapse. Well, I've got another variation that I sometimes squeeze in between that first and the second. And I call it a speed skater squat, basically just utilizing the, the concentric version. So you go down in the normal version, the back leg is help. From here, you're gonna lean forward and pick and pick the back foot up, which will be hard on its own. Picking that back foot up, 
From here, you're gonna stand up without putting the toe back down. Okay. Show you again. Lean forward. Pick that back foot up and stand. Now, assuming you can do those, you're now ready for the full knee tap speed skater squat. Let's do it. You're basically just gonna go all the way down and only tap that back knee. Tippity tap. Tap tap roof. Tippity tap tap. So you did it. That was a full version speed skater squat, knee tap only. Okay, there's two primary ways to make this full speed skater squat even more difficult. You guessed it, let's add some weight, okay? So you're gonna put a weight basically in the goblet position. You can keep it close to your chest the whole time or send it out for a counterbalance. Knee tap, come right back, got it? Okay, the second way, which depending on who you are, might be even more difficult, is to do a deficit speed skater squat knee tap, okay? Take your same yoga block, or anything you want, stand on it. Oh, here we go, here we go. And that's a tap a tap a root. Stand up. Don't forget to do both sides. Going all the way down until you feel that tappity tap tap. Am I gonna make it? I don't feel the ground. There it is. So there you go. You can of course add weight to the deficit knee tap speed skater squat and do a lot of goofy variations. Maybe have someone throw a baseball at you while you do it to get super functional. Okay, those are a lot of variations to learn the speed skater squat and get stronger with the unilateral squat, which will honestly in turn make learning the full pistol so much easier. Hope you learned something in this video. If you did, maybe save it for future reference or share it with your buddy. See you later.